Now, the next aspect you need to incorporate into your teaching of digital technologies are the general capabilities. Now, the general capabilities span across all of the learning areas and across all of the subjects. So you're not just teaching the general capabilities in digital technologies, but you are still teaching all of the general capabilities in digital technologies. It's just it's also they're also being taught in the other subjects as well. So this is called cross-curriculum learning, where we have certain concepts that are taught in all learning areas, in all subjects. Of course, they're applicable to all. Now, one of these is digital literacy. Now, it has a particular relationship with digital technologies, by its name, but also by the content. Now, in digital literacy, students will be learning around about a series of concepts related to digital technologies. But they're concepts that can be um, explored and developed in all learning areas. So, for example, students will be investigating um, con investigating ideas through the use of digital technologies. So they'll use a word processor, for example, in learning English. They'll use a spreadsheet in learning mathematics. Um, they may use some digital cameras and digital recording devices in science. There's a whole range of different applications of digital technologies, um, what we used to call ICT, information and communication technologies. We now reframe that in a broader way as digital literacy. So students will be generating and um, exploring the use of data and capturing um, digital images and digital video um, and exploring how to utilize that in all of their learning areas. Now, they also need to be able to manage and operate that technology efficiently and effectively and safely. So knowing how to actually use the technology, but also when not to use the technology and how to use it in a way that protects their privacy and their safety. Um, so these are all elements that students need to be exploring as part of their digital literacy general capability. So it's not just taught through digital technologies, but it would certainly be expected that digital technologies um, addresses all of the general capabilities in relation to digital literacy. But the other main one that's expected around digital technologies is critical and creative thinking. This is where students are developing those thinking skills that we've been talking so much about. So these are broader thinking skills, such as inquiring, generating, analyzing, reflecting. And they are, again, a set of thinking skills and way of, ways of looking at the world but they're ones that are applicable across all the learning areas. So they're not like computational thinking or design thinking or systems thinking, which are sort of more specific to the technologies learning area. These are thinking skills that are more applicable broadly. Then you have other aspects such as ethical understanding um, and the ethics of various activities. And again, this obviously has some overlap with digital literacy and also of digital technologies, particularly around data and privacy and data security. We also have intercultural understanding and how different cultures um, explore different concepts in different ways. Um, in the Australian curriculum, all subjects have a focus on Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander um, cultures and their different perspectives. But we also have a focus on um, perspectives in Asia. But there's also aspects of digital technologies where there are different perspectives on how digital technologies are utilised in, say, China versus um, the Scandinavian countries or in the United States. There are different um, social expectations around what's um, acceptable in terms of the use of different technologies in different countries and different cultures. And so there are aspects that can be explored. Then there's other general capabilities around literacy and numeracy. So while we have digital literacy, we also have more general literacy development, such as students' development in their speaking and their writing. And some of this incorporates the use of digital technologies, particularly around writing, um, where we have keyboarding skills in addition to handwriting skills. So these are things that we can then explore. And likewise in numeracy, there is in particular some aspects around data that are particularly relevant to 
digital technologies. So as part of your um, scope and sequencing of your um, content descriptions and of your thinking skills development and your core concept uh, development, you also need to think about developing students' general capabilities.